Hey guys, I hope you're doing fantastic. I wanted to hop on. I, I really felt the urgency of the Lord to share this word um, because of the timing on it and to emphasize that we need to be praying for something specifically. You know, when God speaks and tells us of things to come, it is for us to be praying, whether it is him highlighting something the enemy is doing and us praying against and positioning ourselves correctly, or whether it is something he is going to be doing uh, to counter that or just something he's going to be doing, that it's important for us to pray, to position ourselves correctly, to partner with him, to be meditating on it, just so we can see the fullness of that uh, come about. And, you know, John 16, Jesus is telling the disciples, he's saying, I'm going to go away, but it's to your advantage. Imagine that Jesus in the flesh standing in front of you, telling you, I'm going to leave now, but it's to your advantage because I'm going to send the helper or the advocate. And one of the first things that he says that he is going to do is going to be, he's going to tell you of things to come. One of the first things Jesus emphasizes when he says he's sending the helper is that he's going to tell you about the future. It is for us to position, partner, posture ourselves so that we can see the fullness of God's kingdom come. So with that being said, I have felt the Lord really emphasizing to me that between now and November to January window specifically, but beyond that, we are going to see even more whistleblowers come forward. We've been seeing this for some time now, the last, you know, what, eight years or so, it's been uh, pretty consistent. And long before that, too, uh, this isn't something that's brand new. But I think we are going to see a recognizable increase in whistleblowers coming forward with very sensitive information exposing the plans of the enemy, things that have happened, that are in the process of happening, that are being planned to happen. And I feel like that God wants to emphasize this to his people to be praying. Pray. Here's a few prayer points, okay? Pray that the people that feel like they're supposed to, that Holy Spirit would fuel them with this grace, give them the courage for them to step forward and share the information that they have. I feel like most of this stuff is going to be stuff that comes out in D.C. against high-ranking government officials and government agencies. And there are people that have information that have been wanting to, but they are afraid of the repercussions. Pray for courage and grace would fuel them to take the right steps. And for the people that do, that the information would land in the right hands, that the information would be handled correctly, and that there would actually be something done to bring about accountability, justice, if you will, and stop the plans. And that we would be praying for protection for these whistleblowers as well. So a few things. One, courage. That the ones that feel like they're supposed to be coming forward would come forward. Secondly, that the information that is revealed, it lands in the hands of righteous people who carry out the correct plans to displace darkness, place it with light, stop the plans of the enemy, insert God's plans. That the information that's revealed, that something actually comes about with it that's tangible, that brings real change, and that also that we be praying for these people for their protection and wisdom and strategy over them on how to go about doing it to bring about what God wants to do in the midst of this. Okay. I'm even going to pray right now and just encourage you guys to join me in prayer and be praying for this. There's something God's doing in it as more whistleblowers will be coming forward. There's something God is doing that is very important for his kingdom and the future of this nation. Lord Jesus, we just pray right now that the people that have been have information that needs to be brought to light, Lord Jesus, that you would fuel them with your grace, that you would protect them, give them the courage to bring it forward, that you would connect them with the right people to bring it forward, that the information would be uh, exposed correctly, that uh, the plans of the enemy would be exposed and stopped, that unrighteous people, our battle is not against flesh and blood, but it's against principalities, rulers, in the darkness. Lord Jesus, we just pray right now that your angelic realm would invade. Stop these plans that you would fuel, that you would give them courage and fuel the whistleblowers. You would protect them, Lord Jesus, that you would give the individuals who this information is given to strategy and wisdom on what to do with the information, the correct handling of it, the way you would ask them to handle it, Lord. And that, Lord, we'd see your kingdom come and invade in Washington, D.C., in the political realm, in these government agencies like we never have before, to bring about your light and your kingdom in those places, Lord Jesus. Thank you, Father. 
Bless you guys.